What's up, YouTube? You're back with Three Pound Fishing. Tonight's gonna be a great night. I haven't fished in a while, and I'm prepping for some guide trips. And I'm gonna tell you what, I'm taking you all over the lake. We're gonna put some fish in the boat. And uh, hey, shout out to Windrider. I got all these new Invictus sh shirts. I mean, pretty sweet. Anyway, fish are going to the boat. Everything's getting ready. Got the crappie break. Check them out. Let's do this. So yeah, I decided to take some uh, vacation time, spend some time with the family, and uh, traveled around the country a little bit for actually about a week and a half. And so it's great to be back on the water. And I love this because I have to figure it all out, the spots that are hot, et cetera. Guys, I love the hammers, man. I hope you guys have had time to check that out. Check out that bling right there. That's actually not even one with the, that's right there. Bam, hammer. Anyway, let's put some fish in the boat. It's been a while. Good drop there. Oh, and there's our first candidate of the day, boys and girls. Ooh, nice little eater. And professional release right there. That sun has got to be blinding to you guys because it is hot and nasty for me, but We've definitely identified some fish on this pile here. Looks like you just gotta play them a little bit. And um, that's what I'll do before uh, guide trips. I'm just gonna spend some time on the piles, a little bit here, there, just getting a vibe for them. And then uh, moving on to the next one. Here it comes, here he comes. Come on, buddy. And we get a lot of that in the summertime, don't we? Where they follow and they just won't. Oh yeah. All right. They're pretty aggressive. They're hitting that Patriot color at three pound fishing. Getting them with the hammer. Not a big fish, but still a fish nonetheless. And trying to see what's making them react. And right now it looks like the Patriot's doing a good job. Um, definitely more vertical than, than swimming it. But then again, this is a different time of day. And so, could be different in the morning for sure. I would expect it to be different in the morning actually. Oh, bluegill? No, small little, small little crappie. We got more waves coming at us. Good night. <laughs> Just barely touched it. Just barely touched it, man. I'm just telling you, the power of braid, uh, sniping braid, of course, is what I use, is amazing. Um, I've always got a finger on the braid the entire time. Never do I let go of it. Um, it's the only time I would say that I'm not is, of course, when I'm casting. But when I'm pitching like this, I have constantly got my hand on that braid, my fingers are on that braid, and you will feel it. And it can just be a, just the smallest tick, man. Oh man, it's great. Man, thanks again, Windrider, on these shirts, man. I, I got, they're nice. These are actually kind of go out on the town style. They're so nice, but they're very lightweight. And very cool, windrider.com. I think you actually get 10% discount if you use the code three pound fishing now let me talk about a couple things one thing hammer 10 best darn 10 footer out there check it out it's incredible at three pound fishing.com the sniping braid is what i'm using right now always do i like the light stuff uh, but for your boys that are in that louisiana texas that area i always recommend that 12 pound meteor or even the optimized but the 12 pound meteor is extremely popular down south um, but when you're casting you can't beat this you can't beat this super thin stuff right here, but it is a caster's delight. So I'm just ripping through all the baits, um, you know, and when, when I'm trying to look, when I haven't fished for a while, I'm gonna, I just go to a bunch of piles, figure out that they're, you know, pretty what, pretty much what depth they're at and what kind of structure they're on. And that's what I've been doing this evening. It's, um, we're not landing the biggest fish, which is kind of frustrating, but at the same time, I know that there's like 
a good amount of fish for this guy trip coming up so and that's the key is to make sure we're putting a good amount of fish in the boat and we always run across some some good fish but always important to have some time with your family i'm gonna tell you right now that was a joy can't wait to get back here and get the fish in the boat again but at the same time enjoy spending some time with the family and uh stepping away from the world now for you guys that don't know i uh I use an 8600 series, and I, I'm sure some people are going to complain that I, I'm cleaning it like this, but that's how I clean it. Um, and uh, I like it. 8600 series, I like it because, basically I like it because it's a 16 inch screen, to be quite honest with you. Um, I just love a 16 inch screen. Now I think for a guy that's just fishing on the weekends, I think a 12 inch screen is perfectly fine, and I'm in love with the 126 SV. Um, I think the 126 SV is top notch um, i like the easy on and off in the cradle and i know a lot of people have issues with it maybe falling out of the cradle from time to time but i really haven't heard that much of a issue with that and i never had an issue with that so but if you want the cat's meow the 1600 series or 8600 series is what i totally am on board with and for you guys that are you know we talk about the old tricks i know that the new old tricks brushless is coming out um, yes i will be getting it it's not because I don't like what I currently have, because I love it, but it's time to go to a brushless, a little bit more quiet, um, that type of thing. So that's definitely where I'm gonna go with the trolley motor. And you could probably see that in the next, well, whenever they make it available. So if you comment below, if you guys know when it's available, because I haven't been following the iCast um, being, a gone, being a, away and all. So let me know. So that's gonna end it, short episode. Appreciate you guys out here working, trying to make sure the guide trips are great. And, uh, Till next time, have a great one guys. Introducing the Hammer 10 from Three Pound Fishing. We set out to build the number one 10 footer in the nation. And we did this by doing several different things to this rod, including AAA cork handle to increase sensitivity. We wanted to make sure that you had a robust rod. So we double reinforced all the stainless steel eyelets. We wanted you to boat flip your PB with confidence. So we increased the rod diameter to increase the backbone strength and we perfected the rod action so that you could cast the lightest of baits. All built in a two-piece design available at three pound fishing or select bait stores around the country.